Hey everyone, it's Erin aka Star Sketch, and welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be doing the last part of the self-care summer workbook here. Um, when I get back from Disney, I'm thinking about maybe taking a little break from other workbook series, of course, besides the Be Kind to Yourself workbook series. Um, up and until the fall time, I would like to do my Falling for Yourself workbook during that time. So let me know if that would be something you guys would be interested in. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, guys, let's get to our last section of this workbook, which is Love Yourself, which I have a whole workbook in and of itself about this, but, you know, we had to include that in our self-care summer workbook. So let's go to here. Get to know yourself better. Uh, get to know uh, benefits of getting getting to know yourself get to know why you feel emotions for certain things better mindset for success increase self-awareness able to describe yourself better to another person and love yourself more uh, some journaling questions to ponder about what five to ten traits do I feel define me <sighs> I am just very kind Caring, creative, organized. Um, I'm also very, as my friends like to say, bubbly. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of some other things. Artist. Mm, hippie <laughs> you guys know the vibes um but yeah write five to ten words would others choose to describe me okay well bubbly is number one all my friends say that um all my friends say that I'm caring a lot of my friends say that I am a role model which I'm like I don't know about that, <laughs> but okay. Um, other people would say that I'm very creative also and passionate. Um, always have my life together, even though I don't, but like a lot of my friends see me like that and I'm just like I wish <laughs> I wish I had my whole life together like ugh. um okay which role do I play in my group of friends how would a stranger see me what do I want others to think about me so my role in my f group of friends I am like I am the planner, <laughs> I like to call it, slash, um, I guess, like, shoulder to cry on, like, I'm just always there for people, um, next is how a stranger see me. A stranger might see me as, I don't know, <laughs> uh, smiley. Yeah, basically just a smiley person because that's all I basically do is smile when I meet someone new. Um, what do I want others to think about me? I want others to think I'm not annoying. <laughs> That's like the best way to describe it. Or toxic, too. Because like, I've been called that and like, I'm not. <laughs> but like, people have called me that and I'm just like, 
girl that's just a reflection of yourself i'm sorry <laughs> like another way to get to know more about your personality is to give some thought to the major decisions you have made in your life both good and regrettable what are the major choices you made why did you make these choices which were authentic expressions of who you are which were made under pressure from others Ooh, shit okay well the first one was hmm leaving public high school for tech high school um to figure out my career basically Um, I'm just going to put in parentheses, hated it <laughs> because I ended up regretting it. Running away with a stranger. We all know about this story. If you guys have seen my mental health story. Because... Because I had an illusional thought that I was worthless. Stranger forced me. And I listened. And then my other major decision was being off social media for two years. for my safety and mental health. And then parentheses, best decision I ever made. Like hands down, if I were to say like the best decision I ever made in my life, um, it would definitely be that two years off social media. All right, sorry, that was like a very hard question. I was just like, woo, going down memory lane. Let me just take a sip of water. <laughs> okay, another thing to do to consider how your past has shaped your future self. Holy crap. Fill in the circles of how your past self and your future self combined create your present self. Okay, interesting. I forgot I did a, this kind of exercise. Um, so my past, low self-esteem, um, learning more about myself. Mental health focused. Softball player. Because I used to play a lot of softball, so I figure I'd put that in there. And I'm just going to say nerdy student because, like, I loved school like you if you guys remember when I first started this channel 
I did so many school organization videos because that led into my life organizational videos that I do now. So it's like kind of crazy. All right, future. Confident, badass bitch. <laughs> badass bitch. Um, aligning with my higher self. Physically active slash healthy. And mentally. And teaching how Art is therapeutic. So, how it shaped me into my present self. Working on confidence, definitely still. Um, Deepening my self-love. My weight loss journey. I feel like it's kind of my stepping stones from, you know, before to now, basically. Um, artist slash influencer yeah I like that all right next page again this one's a longer one by the way this one we have another few pages left to go so let's get into it more of it um psychologists based on their studies uh, have suggested that people should have around 8 to 10 core values that guide you through life. In most cases, these will be the morals that you have for your life. Honesty, compassion, trust, etc. Mine would be creativity. Honesty. Trust. Kindness. Love. And these aren't in any particular order or anything. Um, hmm. Strength. Health. Spirituality. leadership and accountability did your parents display these values for you or did your values come from your own personal experience mix of both yeah <laughs> Um, if you start to write in a journal on a daily basis, it's the core exercise through self-reflection and getting to know yourself better. You could start to break down why you think a certain way or how you talk to others. You can also draw and create collages in your journal. Be creative. Write a list of some things you could journal about. I started it for you. Daily writing about each day and what you did. Write about what you dream about. Create vision slash mood boards. Reflect each week, month, year. Answer journal prompts. Mm. 
morning pages slash streams of consciousness. Um, notes, lists, um, doodles, and <laughs> trying to think of what else I do in my journal that's basically a lot oh mental health journaling oops what are your strengths what do you like about yourself what have others told you that you are good at what are your weaknesses and what do you wish to work on strengths my, I'm just going to do like my top three things for each. So my top three strengths are my creativity, organization, and my smile. What do I like about myself? I like my smile my energy and how kind I am um what have others told you that you are good at others say I'm good at organization Communication, and socializing. What are my weaknesses? Overthinking. over apologizing and my weight what are things you wish to work on I wish to work on my health Um, wheat and how I treat myself. Okay. Make plans for the future. Um, so also figure out what you want to do for the rest of your life. What's your life mission? What kind of legacy do you wish to leave behind? Where do you want to be in two, in 10, in 20 years? Um, for this one, I'm just going to kind of leave blank because I don't want you guys to know like everything. <laughs> so feel free to fill that out on your own. Um, forgive yourself. What emotions do you feel when you think of your past self? So for me... It would be shocked and scared. What triggers certain emotions to occur, or what triggers these certain emotions to occur? Certain locations, for sure, and people. What are your bad slash negative memories from your past? And what did these negative memories teach you? 
running away taught me to or taught me that you can't run from your problems in life. And you must face them. What is the voice in your head saying when you think of your past? Um, my inner voice is proud of how far I've come. Sometimes your inner voice will be quite critical of you. How can you refrain from some of those critical things your inner voice said to a more optimistic statement? Change certain wording. Example, instead of I can't I think I will write out some positive statements you could say in your head or out loud that are more compassionate about your past what thoughts do you often hear over and over in your mind how can you stop the negative thoughts that repeat in your head? Example, say a positive affirmation and the sentence with, yet, I am not successful yet. So, um, I am strong. It's probably like my top one that I like to say to myself. Um, I am powerful. I'm just going to write a couple of them. Okay, motivate yourself. So we have these two pages and then that. Okay. Motivate yourself. Why do you do the things you do? each and every day to lead the life you want to live. Narrow it down to a word or two and write it out somewhere where you can see it daily. So I'm just gonna write down my top three habits, um, which are journaling, medication, and my health. So, journaling is more or less just for, they all just all lead to my overall health. What is your biggest cause for procrastinating and why do you allow yourself to procrastinate? Um, my phone, distraction, okay, how can you fight the urge to procrastinate, do not disturb mode, and what is your plan to get stuff done, music, To do list. Etc. Write out your morning and night routine here. Need help? YouTube has a bunch of routine, routine videos to look at. I pretty much know my morning and night routine, and you guys pretty much know. So I really don't have to write that down. 
my to read list okay reading is not just self-help or motivational but any book that has new ideas new ideas get your mental mental gears turning and can build motivation so the current book i'm listening or reading is you are a badass by jen sincero i also want to read my balance book on becoming an artist i'm just thinking of all the books on my shelves that i really want to get to this summer um what's the other one um shadows before dawn just gonna write down those and lastly what are your go-to mantras quotes etc to say or think to inspire yourself my these are my top three Akuna Matata. Turn your lemons into lessons. And she believed she could. So she so yeah that is the end of that section thank you guys so much for filling out this workbook with me this is a nice and fun uh series to do but again we'll be taking a break um from two workbook series videos a week and get back to just regular content once i get back from disney world uh which will be um sometime next week when i get back home so yeah um just a reminder you guys i probably won't be having any videos go up um when i get back from disney i will be doing some editing of the disney vlog which will be going up uh, most likely on that friday but we shall see um but yeah so i will keep you guys updated on all that kind of stuff but yeah i will see you guys all in the next video Bye, guys.